Hey everyone, my name is Andrea Hutchison. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully connection is good. I live in the boonies, so it's a little bit harder to get connection. But if you don't know me, I'm a jet setter with paparazzi and I'm so thankful uh, to come on in today and talk to you about uh, daily method of an operation and also about a system that I have in place that has helped a lot of different consultants that if you have not heard of or if you have not like had the courage to do it, it is time for you to get it done today. So I'm super, super excited to be here. I hope that you enjoyed Monica yesterday. It was so awesome. Her training, she is just amazing. So thank you guys so much for jumping on. I'm going to get started because I know that your time is valuable. So if you are watching the replay, make sure that you hashtag replay on the on the comments so that I can see them. If you have any questions throughout the whole video, just ask. And of course, we also do trainings in Team United Fashionistas page, which is public and on YouTube. So you are welcome to always watch those trainings as well. But I'm super excited to be full with trainings this whole month of April and so on. We're going to have uh, different elites coming on every single day. So that's exciting, right? Hey, Nicole, I'm super excited to have different elite leaders and so that you can see different views, different uh, trainings, and that you can just take, take it all in and go do, right? Because we already have the tools. Paparazzi, it is not hard. Paparazzi is the easiest company ever. You don't have to learn products. You don't have to uh, know the chemicals in the products. You don't have to know makeup. You don't have to know losing weight products. You can. All you have to do is show the jewelry and it will sell itself. Um, I think the hardest thing for everybody is that we do not have a customer base. That's the hardest thing for you. Hey, Angie. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Emily. Hey, Corey. Uh, thank you guys so much for jumping on. Make sure you tag your team members. Make sure you add them into this group. Uh, it is totally free. And of course, you're not only going to hear from me. You usually hear from me if you don't know me by now. I do a lot of trainings and I do a lot of um, um youtube videos so but i'm super excited to be here i just wanted to get it done and over with i was like i'm just gonna be one of the first ones to go train and then move on and yay and watch everybody right so today um like i said we're gonna talk about daily method of operation i think one of the hardest things for everybody is finding the customer base finding uh something to do because you don't know where to even start and you think that you have to do so many things instead of focusing on the basics what are the basics andrea well basically what the basics are we ought to sell then we spread the love by sharing the opportunity and then we start getting new team members right but we think it's so hard and it's so difficult because a lot of you have such a hard time with getting new people in people for them to watch you people for them to know that you sell the jewelry for people to know that you have five dollar jewelry once they find out that you have five dollar jewelry they love it but they have to find out and we don't have a big customer base now those of um those of you who do have a big customer base well great for you you know you have already built it and we are in a network marketing profession what does that mean that means that we ought to network with people that we add add new people into our circle every single day that we are to connect with them through comments through videos through um, messages through facebook it is not just about the money and how much we can sell it is about relationships do you want to know why I'm one of the top consultants in the company because it was it is always been always about relationships that's how I started from zero from not having customer base from not having a background from not having anything here came all the way from Peru to the United States to just go to college without knowing the language and getting into network marketing with paparazzi and doing this without having a customer base there you have it. It is all about relationships and it's not about being salesy. Okay? I am I'm the worst sell person. Um, okay, but at the same time I'm the best because it's all about the person on the other side, it's all about them. And let me tell you a story before I get started and tell you a little bit about what the DMOs are. You are like, Andrea, I already know about your DMOs. I'm so glad you're gonna explain them a little bit better because I have no idea. 
we're going to go over that. But you can also create your own DMOs. If my DMOs make you feel overwhelmed, then create your own DMOs. We're going to go over what are income producing activities and what are not income producing activities. We're going to go over the 30 day bootcamp, which is which is amazing if you haven't done it. And if you want to start like like really slow, you're like, Andrea, I got to get used to this. That DMO scared me. I don't even want to create my own email. The, the 30 day bootcamp will really help you. Okay. It has helped several consultants and they have told me that they have sold so much. They have built their customer base in one month. So you can do this. It may seem simple to you, but if you don't do it, then you're not going to see results. Okay. So let me tell you the story that I was going to say. So, um, Many of you know, you know, I've been network marketing for eight years almost with paparazzi. And anyway, so I've been adding new people into my circle. Every day I add new people into my circle. I send them friend requests. I look over their profiles. I'm in different interest groups. And during those interest groups, I connect with a lot of people. Whether it's me sending them a free piece of jewelry, whether it's me checking their profile and see if we have anything in common. I don't just randomly go to suggested friends that Facebook suggests to me and start sending friend requests. I check their profile. Like I it's like ready are like I'm like looking at what they have and if I really want that in my profile if I really want to get to know them if they have something in common with me and so I look into them and so I added this girl and I'm not gonna tell you her name because you know anyway she is a cute girl like she was she she's like so pretty and she's like so slim and I guess she's into uh, losing weight products she's into like beach body and so I added her, she, she accepted my friend request. She automatically messaged me. Um, she was like trying to get to know me. And I was like, thank you so much for accepting my friend request. I'm looking forward to your positive post. It seems like you love health and care, you know, things like that. And I just approached her and she approached me back. Anyway, that's the time around. I was like, yeah, sure. I want to hear what you do, you know, whatever. Um, and so that's the time when my husband was sick and it was a whole 11 days that was full of um, different things that happened into my life. And so she was messaging me about her promotion. She just stopped. She, she couldn't stop messaging me. And I was, are you serious? Like I'm going through this and you're keep messaging me about your promotions. You haven't even taken the time to look at my personal profile to see what's going on in my life. That maybe that's one of the reasons why I haven't answered you and you're still messaging me about your promotions. Like, are you serious? And so comes down to yesterday. It was yesterday when I messaged her, she, she said, um, hey, just checking in, you know, blah, blah, blah. I know you want to lose weight, but I didn't even tell her I wanted to lose weight. Like she doesn't even know me. And so she's messaging me this whole promotion thing. And she's like, we have amazing blah, blah, blah groups of support. And I'm like, I, I just, I am friend of her two days ago. And then she messaged me yesterday. She didn't even see that I am friend of her. Oh my gosh, it was awful. And so... I messaged her yesterday and I was so mad and I was like, Lord, help me to be good because I'm about to blow on this girl. So I messaged her and I said, um, thanks so much for following up, I guess. But listen, I've been in the network marketing for eight years and I have never seen like so much like like you don't even care about me. Like, you don't even care about knowing me. I could have been, like, a really good potential customer, but because of your carelessness and because all you care about is making money off me, like, now I just, I don't even want to deal with you. I've been dealing with my husband. I've been dealing with this and that and that, and you don't even care. All you care is about me getting your products. Like, no, we are not friends. And so, anyways, I didn't say it like that, but I did say, like, you need to look into people before you message them. Check their profile before you message them. Rule number 101 of network marketing, connect with people, know what they're doing, what's up, before you message them about your products. So, before we go into the DMOs, one of the biggest pet peeves that I have is consultants get into the DMOs and they're, like, messaging people without even caring about the person on the other side. Do you know that last uh, two, three weeks ago, I gave away um, 100 pieces away. 
I actually, no, I actually gave away 200 pieces. Now listen, I don't even care about, I didn't even care about putting my business cards into those uh, packages. And I will tell you why. You'll be like, Andrea, are you crazy? We're supposed to put our business cards in there. Okay, I will tell you. And then we're going into the DMOs. This is like, this is a hot, hot topic. I really love uh, like talking about this. So I got into this group and it's a really nice uh, Christian group where I connect with different Christian ladies. And I just posted and I said, I'm wanting to bless somebody at this moment in time. I want them to, you know, be blessed. We're going through so much right now that I just want to spread some love through jewelry. Um, if you please will comment with your favorite color and your favorite accessory, I will mail you a free, you know, a free jewelry. And so I got 50 ladies into that comment. Of course, we had even more. And I have 50 ladies, other ladies into my personal profile. And so that's 100 ladies that I mailed two free pieces to. Now listen to this, okay? All of those 50 people in that group that I posted in, all of them, you know, comment with their favorite color and their favorite accessory. What a better way for me to know what they love and what they like. Guess what's the next thing I did? Hello, I friend requested them. I had over 50 people friend requests. I sent 50 friend requests and I messaged them. Now, you got to be careful when you're using like a generic um written down on messenger well i didn't use a generic one i just say hey so and so thank you so much i can't wait for you to get your goodies i saw your response and here's what you said that you love uh blue earrings and and black necklaces something like that and i said thank you so much what's a good address to mail these pieces to well, she responded back and she's like, thank you so much. She accepted my friend request. She, she, um, she said, she told me what, what I, what she wanted. And we started connecting and I started looking at their profile. I'm like, oh, we have this in common and you have this in common with me. And we started just talking. I didn't, when I mailed the jewelry, I wrote a note to every single person. Why? Because I care about those people. I just made a connection with over 50 ladies that I have never met, that I knew that I will make a connection with because it was an amazing group that I'm in. And so I wanted to get to know them because we have the same things in common. We love God. So I mailed them and they... I didn't even need to mail my business card. Guess what? Several of them messaged me once they got the jewelry. They were like, thank you so much. And they were like, I can't believe it's so pretty. I've never heard of paparazzi before. Do you make the jewelry? What is it that paparazzi is? They started messaging me. They started messaging me, asking me what I did. They started messaging me, where can I buy more? Do you have any kids jewelry? Do you guys hear that? Or am I deaf? Like, can, can you guys hear me? Because I didn't care about me. I didn't care about me. It was all about them. It was all about being a blessing to someone else. Do you know why the, the habits of success are so important, which is included in the 30-day boot camp? We're supposed to give five free pieces to someone who have never heard of paparazzi before. We're supposed to give every single day, five free pieces. And you're like, Andrea, I don't have money like you do. I am not a jet setter like you are. I am not go love the party above. So I don't get double hostess rewards. You get all of this. So you take advantage of the goodness that you have. But I don't have that, Andrea. Excuse me, I did this even before I was a jet setter. I did this when I first I was a star consultant. When at first I was a director. I will give jewelry away. Why? Because that's the best advertisement we have. And for every 10 pieces that we buy, we get one free piece. And you can be a blessing to somebody else. And it's a tax deduction, girl. Okay? So do you know why I love paparazzi? Because it's nickel and light free. And I don't have to say this, but I fell in love with the price. I fell in love with the quality. And I fell in love with the compensation plan. Um, I knew that I could sell $5 jewelry. I didn't know if I could wear it until I tried it. And I'm allergic to jewelry, so I can't wear any any type of jewelry. And not even gold sometimes. Because some do have nickel and lead or any other metal that I have no idea. But paparazzi doesn't. So 
my best way to promote it is giving it to somebody else, especially being a blessing. And guess what? Now we have made connections. Now I know what they like. Now I'm following their posts. Now I'm commenting on their posts. Guess what's going to happen? They are in my circle. So when people are in your circle, what's going on? Uh, hello. They're going to see what you post. They're going to see that you're going live. They're going to see your sweet stocks. They're going to see the jewelry that you're modeling. They're going to see when you get a new box of jewelry. They're going to see all of those kinds of things that you have for your business. They're going to see those posts because they're friends with you. That is your best business card. You heard that? Your profile, your personal profile is your best business card. So if you don't have a brand and you don't know how to brand yourself and you don't know what to post and stop being so salesy, you know, we're not going to have a good time. So we got to change that. So how do you change that with the 30 day boot camp? You're like, well, tell me more about the 30 day boot camp. I know we're getting there. Okay. It's a long story. Long story short, build relationships. It's all about the other person on the other side. Don't just message them. Hey, would you buy this for me? Hey, blah, 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 blah. You mentioned it's like, Tyra, can you elaborate on that? It is a tax write-off because we're not making money off. Um, it, you know, usually I can't talk about taxes, but we can't. When paparazzi sends us that free jewelry, it is a tax write-off for them. It is income from us. It's income for us if we sell it. But if we don't sell it, you're not losing or gaining anything. So you don't have to claim them. Uh, but if you sell them, you have to claim the, the pieces that you're making money off. But that's a CPA question. I'm not, I'm not a CPA. So your profile is your best business card. Okay, so now let's get into income producing activities because I really, really want to talk about income producing activities. They are the best. So I want to hear from you guys while I get onto my website. I want to hear what are income producing activities. What are income? What would you call income producing activities? That's what I want to know in the comments. I want to know what do you mean by income producing activities? What will income producing activities be, be to you? Okay, so I have some examples in here, and I also want to know what are not income producing activities. Live sale, Dee Dee says. Absolutely. Live sales are income producing activities. Events are income producing activities. Absolutely. Any types of events. You don't just sell through live videos. You also sell through different ways. Oh my goodness. Like, you guys. Where is it? I'm going to turn. Basket parties, house parties. I'm going to turn my camera around over here. All the shops, they are absolutely uh, live sale. Okay. So... I had to look for something. Will this be considered an income producing activity in creating those little bags for you to take on your bus on your purse or you know all of these are hostess rewards. All of my hostess rewards are separate and I put them on my trailer or I put them on my purse. Everything that is a necklace that is free for me, I put them in this this bag. It's like a cellophane bag and then you have like like what is it called this black paper curtain paper so i just put them in there and it's within compliance because i haven't taken the necklace out and it's in there so i put this in my purse all the time i put jewelry in my purse and you're like andrea you're a jet setter you don't need to do that uh hello i have to keep building my business okay so i can pass out free jewelry with that i can pass out now listen when i do give free jewelry outside when i'm like going out and about i'm like at the grocery store or i'm at whatever i am i do put my business card in there because maybe i don't get the chance to add them on facebook but majority of the time when i talk to someone outside guess what the first thing is for me to do it like it comes naturally i'm like you look amazing compliment first i look for something that i need to compliment her or him and then I'm like, hey, listen, I have some, some for you. You may like it. I hope you like it. Like, check it out. And I open my bag, my bling bag. And I say, which one would you like? I just want to give it to you for free. And they're like, oh, my goodness. Who doesn't like free? Who doesn't like free? So I give that to them. And then I'm like, hey, do you have Facebook? Like, I would love to be your friends there. And, they, and the, or they usually ask me, where do I buy this? Where do I, where do I get it? I'm like, listen, I, I go live every Tuesday and Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube and on Facebook. Come follow me. 
but let me add you on Facebook so you can find me quicker. Every single time they are added to my profile on Facebook, we become friends. Guess what? I, I, I don't go to Facebook to entertain myself. Okay, I have two business phones. One is a personal phone and the other one is a business phone. I do not have Facebook account on my personal phone because it's totally distractions. Okay, when I go to work, I go to work and, I, and then after 6 p.m., except for today, I turn my phone, business phone off and then I just go do something with my family. Why? Because I have the freedom to do that. I can make myself have freedom. I can say what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. So, business when i go into my profile it's all about business i don't look about what so and so is doing i don't care what the other elites are doing unless i check our you know group our elites group i don't know what everybody else is doing i am follow majority of the elites if i want to know what they're doing i have to make myself go find out what they're doing i have to make myself go know what they're doing because i'm friends with them and so i do want to follow up with them and i want to let them know that i'm here for them so i go and i check but that's like five minutes out of my day. If I want to make even more interactions with elite friends once a week, it may be like 30 minutes most a week where I go connect with them because I don't have time to waste. This is a job. This is not a hobby. This is my whole income business. This is how I thrive. This is how I go. And it has been since that, since the beginning, uh, since I started paparazzi, it was all business. When I got into Facebook, it was all business. When I add people on Facebook, it's all about business. It's all about uh, building relationships. Yes, it is also with business, and but I do care about people. It's not just about the money, okay? When I say, you know, you just go in there and you just work. I just work, okay? So some income-producing activities, okay? Actions and content, content, live videos, selfies, tips, and tricks. You don't like taking selfies? I'm sorry. This is the business for selfies, we are in network marketing. We got to show our jewelry. So take a selfie of your jewelry. Take a selfie of your sweet stacks. Uh, interactions with friends, family, and clients, existing or potential. Face-to-face, -face, phone calls, private messages, comments. All of that is income-producing activities because you are building relationships with other people. You have to. You have to. Like, you have to connect with people in a daily basis. You know, I have three mentors in the network marketing profession. Uh, many of you know Bob Heilig, one is, that's one of them. The other one is Rob Sperry, and the other one is Fraser Brooks. The three of them are like mentors to me. I follow everything that they do. I listen to anything that they have. I don't listen to anybody else. And I may be wrong, but I have paid thousands of dollars in coaching. And only coaches what they want, it's just money from you. They don't care. They haven't even done network marketing in years. Like, I don't even want to listen to them, like, because it's all about money. I care about those that care about people. And so I will tell you that out of those those guys, they are all so personal. Uh, especially Rob. I talk to Rob a lot and he is so personal. And I'm like, how in the world this guy makes time for me? Like I'm nobody, you know, like, uh, I haven't even bought his program, like, like nothing. How is he connecting so much with me? But he is, he makes you feel like so special. That's how you need to be with your customers. That's how you need to be with those potential recruits. That's how you need to make people feel. Do you make people feel that way? Do you care about what's going on in their life? Or are you caring just about what's going on in your life? Because it's all you care about is you, then you're not going to get new customers. Okay? You got to care about other people on the other side. Uh, income producing activity is booking and carrying out events, online parties, in-home uh, in parties, uh, markets, jewelry, workshops, everything. Okay? Uh, what's... <laughs> Oh, you, you, I'll, I'll go into that, Amy. Follow-ups are important. Customer and potential team members handing out business cards, recruiting, you know, flyers. Do you guys pass out flyers with recruiting flyers? Like I have my flyers right here and I have them into, in, in my purse as well. Do you have your business cards? Business cards are good, but how about your recruiting cards? Do you have a recruiting card? Do you have recruiting cards? Because they will be amazing to pass out, especially with people right now. Yeah, I totally agree. Training new consultants, it is income producing activity because you have to build a team. 
Um, catching up with team um, that are, you know, working with your runners is an income producing activity. It's studying, training and allocated time and implementing st straight away. Okay. A lot of you watch trainings like nonstop. Like I can, like you can even tell me. Like you even tell me like every single detail of the training, but then I go to your profile and there's nothing that you have implemented. Like that's a waste of time, girl. All you're doing is being an expectator. All you're doing is being an expectator instead of being in the zine. Are you going to get out of your comfort zone and be on the zine? Are you going to go out and do what you're supposed to be doing? Because this training will not help you if you don't get out there, okay? Now, non-income producing activities. This is gonna hurt, and maybe not many people are gonna like me, but that's okay, I'm not here to be liked, okay? Commenting on paparazzi sister post. When you're commenting on paparazzi sister post. Now, let me tell you, I am a paparazzi addict. If it wasn't because my jewelry, and I'll show you, I'll show you. If it wasn't because my jewelry, it's in buckets and you can't really see them, I will have tons of personal items, okay? If it wasn't for them being on buckets, I will have tons of personal items. Let me tell you, when I lose new items out of my card, like, I'm like, oh man, okay. But then I see it on that somebody bought it. I'm like, like my, you know, my new newbies, like they, like they get it. And we're like telling, you know, they're like so excited. They got a new piece. I'm like, oh, so tempting to buy at least one of them for myself. Okay. When I have new people on my team, I have to go watch their first live video. And guess what? They're going to have pieces that I don't have. So it is an income producing activity for me to go support them. But at the same time, it is a non-income producing activity because I'm going to shop. So if you know that you want to learn from the best, but you are shopping from them, it is not an income producing activity. Okay? You are not making money. And so I have to like close my eyes every single time I watch another paparazzi consultant because I have to. And I'm like, stop, Andrea, don't buy, don't buy. And then I like have to mentally say, I am supporting her. Like I'm helping. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, but I really wanted those earrings. <sighs> so like I'm fighting with our customers for that item. Yes, that's me. Okay. But I don't do it all the time. And you're like, it's okay. You don't do it all the time. Girl, but if you do do it all the time, you should know you have an addiction. Okay, so get out of there. So when you're commenting on paparazzi consultants posts, like you're not helping yourself. Now, I will say that there is a difference between your uplines and your paparazzi team members. There is a time and a day where you do have to connect with your team members, where you have to have them on a friends list, uh, which I talk in other videos. You have to have a friends list because you have to spend at least 30 minutes a day connecting with your team members. They got to know that you're watching them. They got to know that you care about them. So yes, you're going to see their paparazzi posts, but that affects your algorithm. So I have them unfollow. But like for me, Michelle Johnny is my upline and I care about anything that she posts, okay? I care about Michelle so much and she's my upline. So I have to keep in the loop of what Michelle's doing. So I, I have her unfollow, but every single day I check what she has posted in the group and I have checked her group, her group, um, team group. I check her profile, what she's doing, and I, I just keep in touch with her because she's my upline. Okay, if I just go to other people's posts, like that's not an income producing activity. Okay, so stop doing that. Yeah, I love you, Michelle. Um, non income producing activities, watching training daily and not implementing immediately. You're going to be watching a lot of training this whole month. Like every single day, there's a new leader who's going to come on and they're going to train you. It is a waste of time if you are not taking notes and you're not implementing right away. And you can always 
learn you can always learn how why do you what why do you have them unfollow i have them unfollow because i don't want them to show all my news feed if they show my news feed everything about paparazzi will show in my news feed so i have them follow them but i put them on a friends list so i have elites friends i have them in a friends list so i can check on them and be like hey how you doing how's your dad you know whatever because I, fr I have friends that are elites. I'm not that mean. Um, <laughs> and then I have like my team members, my personally sponsored. I have my leaders uh, in a separate list. I have my uplines in a separate list. So I check on them every single day, but I unfollow them so that my newsfeed doesn't get cluttered. Facebook will show you what you watch the most. So if you're seeing a lot of paparazzi on your newsfeed, that means that you are watching and connecting with a lot of paparazzi. Okay, so I want to connect with my customers. That's what I want. I want to see just my customer in my newsfeed. And it's a, it's a non-ending job, okay? Especially with me, I have like over 4,000 friends. So it's a non-ending job because I have to unfriend people. I have to see who they are. I have to be like, what did they talk to me about? I have to make conversations. It's a, it's a non-ending job. So make sure that you're implementing right away. Being available 24-7 to your team, it is a non-income producing activity. It is a non-income, okay? Like, I can be the first guilty person for the past seven years. I have been available, actually, maybe six and a half, available for my team members 24-7. That is not healthy. This is supposed to be a freedom job. This is not a non-dreading job. They have the tools. They can go to letsflourishtogether.com and find whatever they need. They can go to YouTube and find whatever they need. They can go to Google and find out whatever they need. If they really need it, they're gonna find the answer. Cause I did. And when I didn't know the language, I had to translate. So you don't have an excuse for you not to find what you need, especially nowadays when we have so many resources under your fingertips, like they're right there. Okay, and I, but there is my English and Spanish together. Um, so being available to your team 24 seven and it's not healthy, you have to have boundaries. My team members know that my phone is off at 6 p.m. every single day, except for today, because I had to do this training. Uh, it is off. I'm not going to answer you until the next day. They're not going to die. Okay. There's groups for support. There's groups that they can find the answer. There's a search bar in the groups where they can find everything. So no, I am not going to be 24 seven available for someone. Do I care about them? Yes. But they also need to care about me. That's not healthy for me. I don't need to be sick because of them. Okay. And they know they're amazing. And I'm like, I can tell you just got my business phone. I mean, just got my personal phone. And I'm like, this feels weird. I talked to one of my team members and she may be here. And I'm like, girl, nobody's talking to me. Like nobody has answered questions. Like it's not asking questions. Like what's going on? They don't need me no more because nobody is bothering <laughs> And then now they're, you know, they're, it's not that they're bothering. Um, I didn't mean to say it that way. Like nobody's asking questions and I'm like, well, that's a good thing. They know where to find everything, right? So it's all, it's all good. And I have really good leaders that take care of their team. So I don't really have to worry about it. Um, anyway, but I am available for them when they need me at the times that they are, that I'm available. Okay. Uh, because I say so, Jane always answering. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. I've been there. Trying to motivate the unmotivated is a non-income producing activity. You can motivate somebody who's not motivated. If they don't have a drive, and you know, I will tell you something about this. I will tell you something. I can I can personally say that motivation comes within, comes from within, and is a passion. Okay? If you don't have a passion for the business, that means you're not motivated. If you don't want to get up in the morning and, 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 and go all in for your business, you are not motivated. I will tell you this. You have to find a way to motivate yourself. And it's not easy. Do you know how I find my way to motivate myself with paparazzi? First of all, it's my first income, but that doesn't really drive me. Like, the, um, I don't really care. Before, when I first started, was I wanted to get out of debt. That was my motivation. I wanted to get my husband. I wanted to get out of my three jobs. I wanted to do paparazzi full time. 
I wanted to retire my husband from his job. I wanted to buy the home of my dreams and I wanted to do all of that. And, you know, I have done all of that. Praise the Lord for that. You know, I in, in the seven years that I've been with paparazzi, I have done all of that that I just said. So you're like, what's your motivation now, Andrea? Well, my motivation now is I'm going to live with 10% of what I make and I'm going to give 90% back to God. That's my goal. That's what I thrive for. And the other thing is what thrives me and what motivates me in paparazzi, it is you. Paparazzi consultants, that's what motivates me. I want you to be so successful that everybody's at the top. I want to see the 1% in the company be like, the f everybody's in the lead. Uh, that's what I want to see. That's what motivates me. And that's why I don't stop. When times come and it's rough and I want to quit because somebody hurt me or because somebody did something or like, I don't feel like doing anything. You are my thrive. My team members are my thrive. I just go by that. And that's what motivates me. Some people are not motivated about helping others and it's not wrong. I just have that type of personality. Okay. Your motivation may be money and it's totally fine. Your motivation may be recognition. There's nothing wrong with it. It can get really bad later on, but there's nothing wrong with it. That's, that's how God created you. Okay, so find out what your motivation is and, and that's what's going to thrive you. That's your passion. Okay, I personally didn't want to, I've gained like so much weight since I joined paparazzi and it's not because of paparazzi, it's because of my bad habit eating. Like I eat bad and I love sweets. Do you know that God helped me in January, it was February the 15th when God talk to me you know we talk all the time but it was like he was like Andrea if you would just stop buying so many sweets and you will put that money towards missions do you know how much money you could be giving and I'm like yeah like that's so cool God like that totally motivates me like and it did like I quit sweets because I wanted to put money aside for missions and I was like I can totally do this I wasn't thrive. I was my passion wasn't for my health I didn't care if I was, you know, if I was going to die. Like, I didn't care. Like, I was like, huh. You know, I was so selfish. Like, I didn't have a passion to lose weight because I wanted to look good for my husband. Like, I know it's bad, right? But my passion was like, okay, I can give to missions if I stop buying junk food. And I totally quit. It's been 45, 40 some days since I have quit sweets. But listen, after two, three weeks after quitting sweets, my passion became bigger. I found a different passion. I started seeing myself healthier. I started seeing um, like this, the skin colors change on me. And I started seeing those things. I didn't even care about losing weight. It just happened. It was just like the end result of it. But that's what motivated me. When you don't have something, you got to find a passion. And that was my passion. Now my passion is to get better because God cannot use me if I'm sick. God cannot use me if I'm, you know, if I keep hurting my body inside and out. So I got to take care of myself and, and he's shown me on a different level. But so same thing with paparazzi. If you don't have a passion, find that passion. And mainly when you're first starting is your why. Why are you doing this? Is it for your family? Does it really thrive you for your family? Because you will do anything for it. That's the difference. Motivation is the difference is that you will do anything for that passion that you have. And that goes away very quick. Motivation goes away a lot of time faster. So you have to have a really big passion. Big passion that you will do anything to just get to where you want to be. So you say your kids are your passion for this business? Well, show me the results. Because if you're having non-income producing activities and you don't have income producing activities, that tells me you're really not passionate. You really don't care about your kids that much, like that you want to quit your jobs and that you want to do this full time because you will do anything. When I say anything, that means getting out of your comfort zone even more, beyond your comfort zone. That's the passion. That's the passion that I'm looking for. And not a lot of people have that passion. Some of them, they're hobbyists. And some of them are, you know, business partners. And it's okay to be a hobbyist. If you're a hobbyist and you're happy with it, 
totally fine, girl. I love hobbies. I have hobbies shop with me all the time. Okay? It's totally fine. But try to realize where you're at. Are you an A, which is a hobbyist? And it's totally fine. Do whatever you want. You know, you don't even have to watch this training. Although if you enjoy it, that's fine. Maybe I'll help you in, in other areas. But if you're wanting to make this a business, then you better know your passion. Then you better know what you want, whatever it takes. Okay? So we have non-income producing activity news feed full of paparazzi consultants chatting in the team page, scrolling through Facebook. How many of you? Two, two, two. Anytime you have time or whenever you don't have time, you still scroll on Facebook, watching other paparazzi consultants' journeys. Yes, they are motivating, but at the same time, why can you create your story? Why are you watching over on the other side? Why can you create your own story, your own journey? Stop watching, start doing, okay? Overthinking, self-doubt is, is not an income-producing activity, and that's fear. We talk a lot about fear and allowing other opinions to damp on your why. A lot of people are going to diminish you. A lot of people are going to say, this is not going to work. A lot of people are going to be like, you are out of your mind. Let them talk. You do. But you got to do. You got to do. Okay? So I'm going to turn over. I talk a lot, you guys. I talk a lot. I am so sorry. A lot. All right. So I'm going to turn my phone over here. And I'll answer questions. I'll answer questions in a moment. But I'm going to turn my phone. I usually have my fancy computer, but I didn't get it hooked to this group in time. So this is a 30-day boot camp. Okay? 30-day boot camp. You're going to go to units. Do not go. Do not go into the news feed of this group because you will not find what you need. Okay? You go to units, and that's what you focus on. Unit 1 and 2 are in English, and Unit 3 and 4 are in Spanish, okay? All right, so when you start, before you start, you're going to do the things that are in here. So I will recommend, you don't have to start on day one, okay? It doesn't have to be April the 1st for you to be able to start this book camp. You can start at any time. You know, I think a lot of people like get a struggle with that because they're like, I have to start on the first of the month. Like it has to be day one so that it matches. Girl, don't be like those people who never their, read their Bible through. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to laugh. It's not hard. It's, it's really hard to read your Bible. Um, I'm, I'm one of them. But you know how I overcame reading the Bible? I have one of those. Um, it's I'll show you. I have it on my Amazon wish list. But it has like one through 360 days. They tell you what to read. And I started day one on July. Actually, no, it was in November. I got saved in October. And in November, I started reading my Bible through. And, and I have read the Bible through so many times because I started. Because I started. So same thing with the boot camp. You can start on day 20. Today can be April the 20th and you can start it today. But you got to start, okay? Okay, so here we go. Oh my goodness, that was funny. I, I am so crazy. All right, so you will start. Before you start, make sure that you do this. It may take you one week to get this done. It may not. So it may really not take you a week. Maybe counting your pieces will take you a week. But, you know, don't let counting the pieces stop you from starting on day one. Okay? So you're going to go day one. You're going to click on day one. And you're going to do the things that it tells you. But if you don't do that before, if you don't do that before, that's not going to help you with branding yourself. Unit number one helps you with branding yourself, what to post. And that 30-day bootcamp needs to be done on your personal profile, not on your VIP, not on your business page. It has to be done on your personal profile. And you're like, Andrea, no, I'm scared. What people are going to think? I don't care what people think. This is a business, right? This is your business. Facebook is business. It's not personal, right? Okay. Okay. So, you get your notebook, you do whatever it says that you need to do. And it has a video. Not all of them have a video. So just go to day two tomorrow. Tomorrow's day two. And then do what it says to do. And then we move into day three. And that's it. When you finish something, just click on the done button. It will let you know that you got it done. 
and it's super easy. It's just one task a day. Now, the reason why I didn't say go for the DMOs is because when you look at this, girl, when you look at this, you're like, oh, yeah, it says 30 minutes, but nobody does it. Like, it's like they get frozen every time I say go do the DMOs, they like frozen themselves. And they're like, this is way too much, Andrea. Like, this is way too much for me. Like, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. Which is why the 30-day boot camp came about. Because I knew, I knew people could not do, get past that whole sheet of paper that tell you what to do. That gave you income producing activities. I knew that they couldn't go through that. So I had to split them into small tasks, small bites. So now you have one task per day to do, which is the 30 day bootcamp. But we're gonna go over the DMOs and you can create your own DMOs. You don't have to do mine. My focus for today is I write it down. I have 10 minutes of personal development. Personal development, it is not training, personal development is mindset. Whether it's a book that you're working on, whether it's a somebody talking about motivation that will get what whatever it is, an audio or a you know or a video, make sure that you do 10 minutes a day. Then it says add three new friends on Facebook. You put their name in there and then you circle it if they accepted your friend request. If they haven't, don't circle it and then message them because they you got to say, hey, thank you so much for accepting my friend request. I'm looking forward to your positive post or I'm looking forward to this and that. Whatever it is that caught your attention from their profile. Okay. If you don't feel comfortable sending friend requests, go interact on other person's profile. Make conversations as well. But I really encourage you to send friend requests. Okay. Post two times a day on Facebook. One is empowerment, which can be inspirational, motivational, or a positive quote. Mainly in the morning. Why? Because everybody opens their phone in the morning, like early in the morning. Interactive posts, lifestyle posts, that can be entertainment or engagement. That can be in the afternoon. Remember, DMOs means daily method of operation. Remember, you got to post on your VIP group and you got to post on your business page on both of them. Comment on 10 friends Facebook posts that are not paparazzi consultants. And then you check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. Post on walls and personal message everyone with a birthday today. That should be done every single day. Message three people who have liked or comment on your post. There you go. Check mark. Give five compliments must be to strangers. And I will say they um, give free jewelry too. Here it says give one free piece of jewelry to someone who have never heard of paparazzi. Offer one uh, friend customer an online or in-home party, which means you ask them about them doing a home party or an online party. Offer the opportunity. Now, you don't have to copy and do this. You have to make it personal, especially when it comes to the opportunity what would you say, like, what would you say to someone that you think will be amazing at paparazzi? You will message them and you will say, girl, listen, I know this is weird. I am not a salesperson, but girl, you're amazing. And I really think you will be really good at this. Like, I'm not lying. Like, look at your personality. You love people. You love, definitely love jewelry. I really think you will be really good at this. And it has to be someone that you already know. It cannot be a stranger. That's where everybody messes up. They message strangers when they shouldn't message strangers when you haven't built a, a, a relationship yet. So you have to message people that you know about the opportunity, such as your customers, such as your, um, such as your friends, family members, whoever, okay? Then we're going to go over. I really like the 30-day bookend more, though. It has more things for you to do that the DMOs don't have, but you can add to it. Then you follow up with them, and then you evaluate your goals and what you need to adjust to be successful. Are you on track for Live of the Party goal or Crown Club 5? Was that hard, you guys? That was not hard at all. I will even add, and I haven't updated my DMOs. I will even add tons of different things from the 30-day boot camp because this has been amazing, a game changer for everybody, not just for you, but for me as well. And if you don't know where to find it, I don't have a link to my page. If not, I will send you like the link or the 
through Messenger, but you just go to letsflourishtogether.com and you go to systems and it should be in there. And it will say DMO, DMO, okay? So I hope that helps. It was like very short, right? It was a short training. I talk a lot, but hopefully it was helpful to you. Sorry, I have to put it on my tripod. Questions that I can answer. How can we start the bootcamp? Basically, you just look up 30-day bootcamp with Andrea on Facebook and you should be able to find it. I'll post it in the links in this group if they allow me to. Um, and that should be fine. Questions that you guys may have. Hopefully today I help you mentally and hopefully today you start making some changes because if you don't have a plan, you're not going to go anywhere. The reason why we are not successful in a network marketing company is because we don't have a daily method of operation. We don't know what we're supposed to be doing every single day. Everybody tells us what to do every single day. Our parents told us what to do. Our teachers told us what to do. But when you come to paparazzi, there's nobody who will tell you what to do. So you are like in the loop. You have no idea what to do. So this is it. You have your own daily method of operation. Do you want to know why I became successful? One of the other reasons is because I did this DMO since day, maybe since my first year with paparazzi because I did it like without stop. It was a thing that I did every single day. Did I make mistakes? Absolutely. Because I needed to find out how to do whatever I needed to do. But now I do it every single day. Like that's on my routine. If you don't like computers or if you don't like PDF files, girl, girl, productive. That's what the app is called. It's called productive or done. Download those two apps or one of them, whichever, and it will help you create habits. If you don't have habits in place, you're not going to be successful. Okay. Do you want to know why the multimillionaires are like so successful? Because they have habits. They get up early. They make their bed. They do things on purpose. Okay. You guys, I'm going to be doing a video on a daily uh, Andrea's routine and I'll be posting it soon. But you guys, I have, I have grown so much for the past two years. I have grown so much personally. I have created habits that I didn't have. I got so much organized that I have ever been. Uh, because it depended, people depended on me and I needed to get that done. So you don't need to go through so much trouble. Now you have what you need and you just need to implement and add to it. If you want, if you're, if you say like, Andrea, we're missing this in there. Well then put it in there, create your own DMOs, you know, and do them every single day. And then on that app, you just mark done and it feels so good. It feels so good to get done done <laughs> all right questions that you guys may have i have a few minutes to do this habits of success is the resources step absolutely and i actually took a lot of different things from habits of success and put them into the 30-day boot camp and i also put some on the dmos as well because they are important they are super important paparazzi already did that so i just need to take it and put it into place can you share a story or two on how you overcame the Rebutals from people when you ask them about the opportunity. Curious how you responded. I always freeze at the no's. Then Vanessa, if they say no, like a flat no, then you just like, okay, that's totally fine. I really just thought that you would be amazing at it. Depending on who you are approaching. If I have, if I'm approaching people that I personally know and they're my customers or friends, like there's no hard feelings for me because I'm approaching people that I know will be amazing at this. Now, if I'm approaching someone that I don't know, I don't approach them. Like I just sell, I just sell my brand. I just sell my personal brand through Facebook until they ask me. I have several people ask me until we don't have a relationship. I don't ask. I always ask somebody that I know, um, that I personally know. And even if we just became friends on Facebook, I personally know them through their posts and what they're doing. I usually friend request a lot of network marketing people because they're in the network marketing profession. They already know. So I friend request them because, you know, I know my company's better. <laughs> so they're going to be watching me. And so they're going to ask me, they're like, you know, I, I like it. But yeah, I think it's just, if they don't say anything, that means they haven't said no. So don't stop following up with them. Uh, but don't be, don't be like, too like too annoying because we can't be 
I used to be very, very annoying when I first started. I was like, hey, would you like to join my team? You know, and it was just like, you haven't even talked to me. Like, do you even know my life? You know, uh, where do I find Andrea? Just put a 30 day boot camp with Andrea. That's where the boot camp is. Do you allow scheduled time for vacation? Yes, Patty. I do. I do. Oh my goodness, Patty. I have this app called Calendly. And with Calendly, people schedule their calls with me, whether it's a Zoom meeting or whether it's a training or whether it's me training somewhere else or whether it's me coaching, whatever it is, people um, set up a meeting time with me and I do schedule vacation. We just went to vacation, kind of like a vacation. We went to see Danny's mom. She was, she turned 83 and uh, we went, it was for like since Thursday till Sunday that we went to Valdosta, Georgia. And I was able to just enjoy my time. And yes, I get to schedule my own vacations. I don't stop posting what I'm supposed to be posting. I still do the DMOs every single day because it's 30 minutes a day. And then there's other things. Of course, that's, that's the minimum. I have other ones that I do more every single day. I don't know how to do graphics. A lot of internet stuff. Deanna, they just go to YouTube. The best apps for graphics are Canva, especially with paparazziresources.com right now. Use Canva. Learn how to use Canva. And you can use Canva on your phone and you can use Canva on your computer. Just type on Facebook, on YouTube, how to use Canva on my phone or how to use Canva on the computer. And lots of tutorials will come up, I promise. Um, do you offer the opportunity to customers who make, a, oh, absolutely, and tell them to at least yeah, absolutely. I do get a lot of my customers who become consultants. Um, and then you're like, Andrea, but then they stop buying. Actually, they don't. I have several customers who have joined for the discount and then they keep buying with me. And I'm like, well, they're just hobbyists. Like they really like buying. They don't really want this to be a main income. So I just let them buy from me. Like I can't help it. They're going to shop, you know, they're shopaholics. So, but I do offer the opportunity because I don't want to miss an opportunity with my customers, especially big time customers. I offer them all the time. Um, actually, when you're following up with your customers about their order, I say, hey, have you ever thought about joining? Like, look how much you could have made. Or I offer them about doing a party. Um, what are the top five things I should do on Facebook in the morning? Oh my goodness, Becky, that's a good question. Okay, so first five things you post your first inspirational post in the morning. Um, I would say the five first things, I would say wish people happy birthday and happy anniversary, friend anniversary. I will start deleting people because if you go to memories on Facebook, you will be able to see all the people that have friend requested you like three years ago, two years ago that you become friends with. I will check their profile. And if you haven't made a conversation with them, make a conversation with them or unfriend them. If you haven't built a relationship with them, uh, totally unfriend them. Especially if you've been friends with them for five years or four years, unfriend them. Like check your messages, like send a message to them and you will see the conversation past conversations that you have had. And if you want to connect with someone, then you're going to connect with someone. So those are like the three main things. The fourth thing actually gave you like four, but the other thing that you can do in the morning, I would say, you know, um, I will be like, check your, your group, like your team group and check what's going on. Now, listen on your team group. I personally recommend that you click on the, where it says new activity. It will give you an arrow you click on recent posts so that way you don't see the new activity you don't see all posts being posted you post the recent activity i always post something on my this on my on my group every every day every day i post something on my group i start posting posting so for me i would check what was posted yesterday or i would check what's posted this morning and then the other thing I would say, just connecting with people. I mean, those are the main things. I think I gave you more than five, but that, those will be my five top things on Facebook. What is Canva? Canva is a program where you create graphics with. It's very, very easy. Uh, Emily said, before I signed up over a year ago, I researched so much before I took a leap. Your videos on YouTube helped me a lot. And here I am. Oh, I'm so glad, Emily. Will you be doing a new training for Shopify? I will be doing a new training for Shopify. I actually just got one of my team members. She won a free, um, I'm going to create her store. So I'm going to be using her account to create those YouTube videos. They are amazing. 
Uh, Shopify is amazing. It is worth it. Now, listen, for those of you who are selling 200 and more pieces a week, it is awesome to have Shopify. But if you're not selling near that, then don't get Shopify because it won't be worth it. How do we do online parties? Um, well, online parties, I usually recommend either create a group for the party or create an event for the party. Or you can even create a messenger for the party. <laughs> so you can do it three ways. Just ask the hostess what's the best way that she will like it. And the reason why you create events or groups or chats is because you want her to start adding people to the online party. Uh, the reason why we do parties or events is because we want to get new friends. And so when you're hosting parties, that's the best way that you get new friends like faster and quicker. Okay, so I just start adding them as a friend. I'm like, hey, I saw that you're coming to Brittany's party. I'm so excited. If you need anything, let me know. That's my first conversation with them when they accept my friend requests because I send them all friend requests. Um, I watch your videos on YouTube. You're all, thank you, Brenda. Any more questions, you guys? Online parties are super fun and then you just either post pictures or go live or do both. Uh, but the main point of online parties or events is getting people into your circle, which means they need to be friends with you on Facebook. That's where, how you build your customer base. That's how you grow. All right. Any other questions, you guys? Um, before I go, make sure that you go follow Rob Sperry. He has this program called Telegram. It's free. And I'm actually, he asked me to do a training video there about systems and what we have in place. So he's going to be posting that video over there. I don't know when. I'm kind of nervous. Hopefully it'll be a good video and helpful, but that's fun. He always has really good content to share and it's free. So um, I really like it. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you so much. Can you share your opportunity cards so we can see how they are? Super simple and you can actually find them on Etsy. I actually found this template on Etsy, or you can create yours. Um, let me see if I can turn my, so that you can see. I know I can do this. Let's see, my phone. How do I turn it the other way? Maybe, there we go. There you go. So now you can take a picture or a screenshot. Thank you, Misty, for being here. You guys, Misty's one of my elites. She makes me she makes me look good. She's awesome. Hopefully, we will be having her on Team United Fashionistas on Monday, training about VIPs. If not, there's a VIP video that she did that was amazing with her husband on YouTube that you guys should totally watch it. She is a queen of VIP groups. All right, so hopefully that helped. All right. Any more questions? If not, I'm going to head off. I'm going to go take a nap because <laughs> I got to go live tonight at 8. Uh, thank you so much, Deanna. Thank you, Pamela, for being here. Congratulations on hitting live of the party. So cool. You are. Uh, thank you guys so much. Who are the other mentors that you follow? I follow Bob Heilig, which is your virtual app line. He's actually more deeper into mindset. So sometimes he can be like um, a lot, <laughs> a lot of information. Um, then Rob Sperry, R-O-B Sperry. He actually talked about the conquering, the game of conquering. It is an amazing book to read. And it has helped me as a leader to know the different fears that people face and even the fears that I have. And then the other person that I follow is Fraser Brooks. He is, a, I think he's from England. I don't know. But he is funny. He looks like a nerd, but he has so much knowledge and a lot of things. And he is amazing at connecting with people. He connects with people a lot. Late to the live, but sure content was good. Yay. Where do you get your lighting? Um, Deanna, if you go, uh, well, I, I have like an Amazon wish list. Um, that's where I get everything that I buy from. I have, but the lighting that I have right now is from my window. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, if you have any other questions, make sure that you follow on the description. There is a 
a business page called Team United Fashionistas. Go click on that, follow it. We go live Mondays uh, with elite leaders. They come on and they share their stories as well and the trainings. And then on Fridays, I do Fearless Friday. And of course, we go live and do trainings on YouTube. So make sure that you guys follow it. And thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys later. Uh, God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon. Go implement everything that you learned today. Can't wait to see who many of you are gonna, how many of you are gonna finish the 30 day boot camp and how many of you are gonna create your own DMOs and start doing them daily creating habits. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.